Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As many of you may know, the developer Headwind behind the A330 and the Fly-By-Wire team have joined forces. If you have a spare tablet, cell phone, or a secondary monitor, we can use these devices as an external MCDU. Do you want to know how to set it up? Well, we're going to go over all the steps coming up in today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back, so let's get started in today's tutorial. And if the video helps you out, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to download the A330 by Headwind. All the download links for this mod will be in the description, so be sure to go down and check those out. If you have any questions or comments along the way, please post those down below as well. So once you click on the link for flightsim.to, it'll bring you up on this page, and we're just gonna go over to the download now, give that a left click, allow the countdown timer to finish, and then we're gonna hit the download button. Once we hit the start download, it should populate down below in the web browser. We're just gonna allow that to finish and then move on to the next step. Okay, so now that the mod has finished downloading, we can now close out the flightsim.to webpage. Next, we wanna open up our community folder that I have over here on the right. And over here on the left, we wanna open the folder where we had just downloaded the zip file to. We just need to come over here to the download for the Headwind A330. We're gonna double click on the mod to unzip it. And then we're just gonna take this and drag it and drop it right into our community folder. Once that's finished, we are now done with the download folder, but we are not done yet with our community folder. The next thing that we need to do is to activate the MCDU server so that we can use our external MCDU device. To do that, we're gonna come inside the community folder where we had just put the Headwind A330 mod. As you can see here, I'm using the developer version, but I don't think that's gonna matter so much. We're just going to left click on that, and here we can see the MCDU server folder. We can double click that, and then we can just double click on the MCDU server application. Now keep in mind that sometimes your antivirus firewall will prevent this from connecting. So be sure to turn off your firewall if you have any of these connection issues. Okay. So the next thing that you're gonna notice when we open the MCDU server is that we can also enable an external printer. So you're just going to answer yes or no to that, hit enter, and next, it's gonna tell you that it's waiting for the simulator. Now that we got the MCDU server running and we're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can see here that we are getting an error on the screen here and it's not connecting. Well, that's because there is a couple settings that we need to make sure are set correct in the EFB on the A330. I'm just gonna come over here to the EFB, go down to the settings, go up to Sim Options, and then you're gonna make sure your external MCDU server port is set exactly what it is asking you to set it to in the MCDU server, so 8380. Underneath of that, we have the enable MCDU server connection. We wanna make sure that you turn this to auto on if you're gonna be using the external MCDU. So let's go ahead and hit the on, and you can see we have a successful connection to the MCDU and we also have some more information on our MCDU server application. If you're gonna be using the external MCDU on a second monitor on the same device that you're using the SIM, then you're gonna type in this into your IP address. If you're gonna be using an external device like a tablet or cell phone, then you're gonna type this into your IP address. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. The one thing you wanna make sure you do not do is close out of the MCDU application. If you close it, you will not have any functionality on your external MCDU. And if we go down to the aircraft MCDU, as I punch any of the buttons here, as you can see, everything is changing down here in the aircraft. All right, so I think that's just about gonna finish us up for today. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.